Good afternoon, RubyConf. Nice, good atmosphere, good start. OK, my name's Andrew Faraday. Some of you may remember me from last year's RubyConf. And I have once again been given the fantastic honor of presenting the most British thing possible <laughs> in the United States uh, for RubyConf, which is brilliant. Uh, what follows is a sort of conversation game. And basically, I'll be challenging the panelists to speak on a variety of topics that I'll be giving them. And they have some ways they must not say the things they are saying. They must avoid hesitation, repetition, or deviation. So this is really a game for programmers, partly because it's quite analytical, it's quite involved, cerebral game. It's also a very narrow set of requirements and <laughs> millions of edge cases. That's, <laughs> that's how the game works. And that's the space in which our panelists will be playing. Now, the game, it is very difficult, and they're all very brave for standing up in front of you and playing the game. So <laughs> when you feel the panel have done well, by all means, do raise your voices, put your hands together. Let us know that you feel we are doing well up here. We do need some encouragement. Uh, the game also involves challenges, where the panelists uh, will pick each other up on whether they feel those rules have been broken. And those can be a uh, mite subjective. So if you feel that they are being unduly harsh, by all means, do let me and the panel know that as well. And there's one last, far more important thing I need from you. Uh, now, the show always starts exactly the same way, with a, an exuberant statement of welcome and the theme music. And as soon as you hear that piano music kick in, I need you all to raise the proverbial roof. <laughs> Can you do that for me? OK, here goes. Welcome to Just a Minute. Right, good afternoon and welcome to a very special edition of Just a Ruby Minute here in the fine city of Cincinnati, Ohio. We're halfway through day one of RubyConf 2016. Now we're going to play a few rounds of the game called Just a Minute, the beloved elder relative of all panel games. And what's going to happen each round, I'm going to choose one of the witty, insightful and of course horrified individuals currently <laughs> arrayed before you and give them a topic that's of some interest to Ruby developers. They'll be challenged to speak about that without hesitation, including pauses, hedging noises, elongation of words, repetition of words that particular panelist has used during the current round, or deviation when they're simply no longer talking about the topic they have been given. Now, if those rules are broken, the panelists can challenge by pressing their buzzers. The timer will stop. And if their challenge is correct, they'll gain a point, but also gain control of the topic and the timer where it's left off, They'll be allowed to continue speaking until the minute is over, or they are in turn challenged. Whoever's speaking at the end of a minute will gain a point for doing so, and incorrect challenges will pass control back to the original speaker along with an extra point. So that's the rules. They're all very simple. It's a lot of fun. Do play along with us, and let's meet the panel, shall we? So first up and furthest from me, our spec maintainer, Sam Fippen. Next along the line, we have the mind behind GOAT user stories. Please welcome Tara Scherner de la Fuente. <laughs> Next up, we have the owner of two Ruby famous cats and the founder of the Friday Hug. Please welcome Aaron Patterson. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, a huge part of both Cubmo and Bridge Foundry, Kinsey Ann Durham. Excellent. Uh, Sam Fippen, you are first up to speak, and your topic is the worst bug I have introduced. <laughs> In, Starting with a difficult one, so Sam. That isn't even spelled right. Wait, is that? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, what is that? Deviation from the English language. <laughs> uh, no points. Um, yeah, I'll allow repetitions of both introduced and interreduced. <laughs> <laughs> That is entirely my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you have 60 seconds starting now. The worst bug I have interduced, or sorry, should that be introduced, was this one time in production when I decided it would be a good idea to flush a Redis cache that actually wasn't just being used as a cache, but also. <laughs> Thank you. Repetition of cache. Yep. Repetition of cache, completely correct. Aaron Patterson has a point. And <laughs> 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 wow. 
for those of you who missed last year, Aaron was on round four before his first <laughs> point. <laughs> so he's thrilled. <laughs> okay, Aaron, you have 45 seconds starting now. The worst bug I have introduced is something that I don't really want to talk about because it is embarrassing to me. <laughs> 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 uh, hesitation. Hesitation, definitely. <laughs> so Kinsey's got a point and a fan. <laughs> and you have 35 seconds starting now. The worst bug I have introduced wasn't necessarily a bug, but my pair and I, Kim Barnes, who is actually sitting in the audience right now, right there. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> right. <laughs> Repetition of right. <laughs> Repetition yeah. of right, absolutely yeah. correct. So, Aaron, you have 23 seconds on the worst bug I have introduced starting <laughs> now. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by Kinsey. And Deviation, he's talking about the interruption and not the subject <laughs> itself. No, no! I was continuing! <laughs> no! <laughs> I've got to give you that, Sam. Oh. <laughs> so you have 18 seconds remaining, starting now. The worst bug I have introduced is an interesting subject because we as programmers spend so much time introducing bugs into the systems of... I was going to say repetition of bugs because he said that the first time. Did he say bugs before? Has anyone The plural. It? The first time he spoke. Does anyone I remember? remember. No. I, don't, that, I don't think that's cool. I, I don't remember. No, I, mean, I, don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. To be clear, oh, that would be... Am I supposed to be pressing this button, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Gate points, is that a thing? Yeah, you, you certainly could have yeah. done. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's I didn't hear time. books before. It would have been a legitimate challenge, but unfortunately, I don't think that was. So, Sam, you've got a point. You have seven seconds remaining, starting now. The worst bug I have introduced, a topic that we can discuss here at the conference as the <laughs> Repetition of we. He said we like eight times. <laughs> so Sam Fiffin gets the point for the end of that round and takes the early lead. Tara. <laughs> you're first to speak in this round, and oh, this one was selected finally. specially for you. Goat user <laughs> stories. <laughs> So this is uh, Tara Scherner de la Fuente on Goat User Stories, starting now. When I was working at Living Social with at least one member of the audience, I created Goat User Stories with the DevOps manager, Matt Robinson. We really enjoyed talking about goat in the office, <laughs> and we made up user stories where we drew goats on... Repetition of goats. Yes. yes. Oh. Yeah, plural. You could have repeated goat, but not goats. I uh, yes. There was also some hesitation You stole the then. goats from me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna You're not getting a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> so Can't Sam gets a point, but not a sticker for that. <laughs> <laughs> and you have 34 seconds starting now. The reason I like goat user stories is that I find that they're very relatable to my everyday work as a developer who faces users building systems that also need to function and listening to their stories. The idea of a user story comes originally from Agile, which allows us to think about ways that we can develop our software in reaction to our customers with goats, I guess. Because <laughs> Repetition of goats? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Nice, nice. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. So, uh, you. you've got a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> and you have eight seconds remaining on Goat User Stories starting now. Goat User Stories is a topic that I am extremely familiar with because they are about user stories. <laughs> I didn't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aaron, you got the point for the end here. of that round and have drawn level with Sam Fippen. You're next up to speak as well. <laughs> I really should have made, paid more attention to my spelling. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is, uh, you say it like that too. <laughs> Again, I'll accept repetitions both with or without the G. <laughs> this is what happens when I do the preparation on the plane. <laughs> so, Aaron Patton on submitting a pull request starting now. When I'm submitting a pull request. <laughs> <laughs> What? Hesitation. I Hesitation. Hesitation. I was in the middle of saying it. <laughs> They've already turned on you. They've already turned on you. It's early. Uh, Jeez. An unpopular. I one round further than last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, an unpopular and yet correct challenge from Sam Fitton. So. Oh, come on. You have 57 seconds. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. <laughs> you have 57 seconds starting now. As an RSpec maintainer, when I'm submitting a pull request, I find that it's very important to think about the contents of the pull request, the description, the commits, whether I've rebased correctly, and a number of other important factors that... Repetition of important. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, okay, I'm so... <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it. Uh, so, Aaron, yes, you had the point. You have 43 seconds on submitting a pull request starting okay. now. Submitting a pull request <laughs> is a thing that people do when their hands are very cold, so they, they put me in. <laughs> <laughs> So you managed to speak through one bout of laughter. <laughs> How did you beat me on the bus? Uh, oh, later. Uh, okay. So I'm going to guess that's hesitation. Hesitation, yeah. yeah. Great. So Sam, you have the point. You have 36 seconds starting now. So as I was saying, when I'm submitting a pull request, I find that it's useful to consider the other people that will be reading the context of that pull request that I have submitted. <laughs> He said I probably 10 times. Yeah, that yeah. was a lot of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give you that. Yes. Not all about you, Sam. So, Kinsey, you have a point. You have 24 seconds on submitting a pull request starting now. Submitting a pull request to an open source project can be very scary because there are mean people who maintain the libraries who do not want to welcome new people doing a poll request. Oh. Repetition of people. people. Oh, Repetition of people, nice. completely really? correct. Yes. You're my first challenge ever. <laughs> well, listen, so Tara, you have the last six seconds of this round, <laughs> starting now. Submitting or submitting a poll request is very important when you are. <laughs> yes! So that was Tara Scherner de la Fuente speaking at the end of that round for her second point. Kinsey, you're up next to start. Uh, this topic could have started elsewhere. The topic is moving to New York, <laughs> uh, which I should explain for anyone who's unaware of this, Sam Fitton has just recently done. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Kinsey, you have 60 seconds on moving to New York starting now. Moving to New York would be awesome because there's a lot of good food and people and things to do in the city. Moving to New York would be expensive because a lot... Repetition of because. Oh. Yes, repetition uh. of because. <laughs> 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 or don't. <laughs> <laughs> So Sam, you've gained that point. You have 45 seconds starting now. Moving to New York is a song by the Wombats, the seminal chorus line. Deviation from Tech Talk. It, it tech -talk. was on the topic of moving to New York by the Wombats. It was very clear song. that that was the, the topic in hand. So, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh -oh. Okay. You're the judge. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam, you've gained the point. You have 40 <laughs> seconds remaining. Okay. Starting now. As I was saying, this piece of music by the band whose name I mentioned in my earlier speech and so won't mention in this one features... Repetition of mention. 
Oh! How do I? I can't drop that. <laughs> 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 yeah, so that was correct. You, you've gained the point you have. 33 seconds starting now. Moving to New York is something that Sam Fippen has recently done to... I'm guessing that's hesitation. Yes, hesitation. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Kinsey, you have 26 seconds starting now. Moving to New York is fun because they're... Repetition oh, of the calls right. from her own oh. speech. Oh. Uh. That is correct. When Kinsey was speaking, oh. she said because. <laughs> I don't know uh, what to say about this. <laughs> 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 Whoever was clapping, you're my favorite person. <laughs> Okay, Sam, you have the topic. You have 19 seconds starting now. Moving to New York was a really interesting process. Repeti repetition of interesting. He said that the first time he was yeah. speaking. Yeah. yeah? It was less <laughs> interesting this time. I'll give you that. Uh, you have 15 seconds remaining starting <laughs> now. Moving to New York is weird. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what to say about this. I can't do this. Clearly hesitation. <laughs> Clearly hesitation. Absolutely correct, Sam. Uh, you have 10 seconds remaining and indeed 10 points starting now. So far, I've rather enjoyed moving to New York, although at times it has been a little bit difficult and scary. There are many things that happen in the United... <laughs> Sam Fippen consolidating that lead, speaking at the end of the round, and you are in fact up to speak for the next round. Your topic is why I code with <laughs> Ruby. Ruby. So, Ruby. <laughs> you don't have to say Ruby. Wait, whose turn is you it? You may. Who's, it's, uh, whose turn? It's me. Sam. Oh, okay. It's oh, Sam. Yeah. All right. So, Sam, you have 60 seconds starting now. Why I code with Ruby? What a great question. I mean, really. Why does anyone code with Ruby? In this room, I feel like we could get a lot of answers to that question that we might otherwise ask why I code. Um, repetition, oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> I had, uh, there was repetition in there. There was a repetition, there, but. Question, repetition, yeah. question. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. Whoa! So uh, I'm gonna hey. give Kinsey and that section of the audience a point. <laughs> That's as they can't help me. I knew there was repetition. So, Kinsey, you have 42 seconds on why I code with Ruby starting now. Why I code with Ruby is a very good question because Ruby was the first language that I started programming with. Why I code with Ruby is because the community is so awesome. Look around this room. There are so many people. <laughs> So. Repetition of so. Yep. Uh. So. Yeah, I said it probably Was four that times. Too harsh, <laughs> do we think? Yes. Uh, I'm going to call that an incorrect challenge. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, really? <laughs> so, Kinsey, you have the point. You have 21 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> why I code with Ruby. Okay. Starting now. Why I code with Ruby would be an interesting pregunta to ask the rest of the audience in this room. Deviation from English. <laughs> well, uh, I have two points, people. Can you please <laughs> cheer my challenge? Yeah, I'll take that. I was usually, told I could speak in a different language. Uh, yeah, usually I would, I would completely allow that one, uh, <laughs> although I didn't have the, the language skills to tell if it worked as a sentence. <laughs> uh, it did. My it own fault. Question in However, uh, yes, yeah. Thank you. It, <laughs> okay. Uh, Notice yeah. the end of my last name. <laughs> So I, I, I'm going to give that on to Tara, just to see yeah. a little behind at this moment in time. <laughs> and you have 12 seconds on why I code with Ruby starting now. 
Why I code with Ruby is because I do not code with Python, Java, JavaScript, <laughs> Perl. I'm not hearing a words. challenge. <laughs> I'm they waiting. Are. Hesitation on the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to judge that I did not hear any hesitation, and Java and JavaScript are clearly two different words. So that was an incorrect I don't want challenge. To argue that. <laughs> <laughs> so Tara, you have a point. You have 2.1 seconds remaining, starting now. Why I code with Ruby. <laughs> Nicely done. Tara, you're speaking Thank at the end of that round. Thank you for your audience participation <laughs> on these last, <laughs> last round. You gained the point for doing so. You're also first up to speak in the next round, Tara. So your topic is when to stop coding. <laughs> Tricky question. So you have 60 seconds starting now. There are so many ways to know when to stop coding. One of those is when it is 2 a.m or 3 a.m.? He was going to do it. That's the only reason yeah. I pressed the button. I, know. I, I saw him about knew, to touch it. He I, cannot get a point. Okay? I knew what I'd done wrong. It's okay. okay. It's I totally fair. I to let you know that. Totally, totally fair. So I'm guessing we're on the repetition of a.m. here. Yeah, yes. Yes, yeah. completely correct. correct. That's true. Kinsey, you have the point. You have 48 seconds starting now. When to stop coding is a great question because a lot of people don't stop coding when they should. You need to take a break, go eat, and ride a bike, and fish in the river, which is what I like to do when I stop coding. When to stop coding is something that we should teach junior developers to do so they don't develop something called burnout. It's a very common thing that happens when you don't know when to stop coding. When to stop coding should be taught at coding boot camps. Repetition of should, like so many times. <laughs> <laughs> A few shoulds. Totally. However, that was 53 seconds. Yeah! But I am impressed. However, yeah, that was a completely correct challenge. Tara, you have a point. You have seven seconds on when to stop coding, starting now. When to stop coding is a question Kinsey was addressing quite nicely before I interrupted her. I would... <laughs> so Tara, speaking at the end of that round, you've got the point. You are currently tied second place, leaving Aaron I've just I've got a new behind. strategy. <laughs> I started with such a strong lead. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, you are first to speak in this round. Your topic is an interesting one. What to put in application controller. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, I will accept repetitions of application and controller as separate words. Uh, so they're sort of one word, sort of two. Uh, so you have 60 seconds starting now. What to put in application controller is an interesting topic to speak about because what I like to put in application controller is all of my code, like <laughs> as if application controller was a CGI bin file where <laughs> I would just dump everything that I could ever possibly think of into that file and then run. <laughs> Repetition of everything and file? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Completely correct, Kinsey. <laughs> you have 39 seconds. What to put in application controller starting now. What to put in application controller is an interesting question to ask. I personally put all of my model logic, like user RB, into my application <laughs> controller. <laughs> because I don't really know what should go in an application controller because I rarely open that file. And at my current job, I know if I open that file. Oh, shoot. Ah! <laughs> repetition of file. <laughs> yes, uh, you could have had repetition of open as well. Uh, so. See, oh, I thought you said it. Sam got that point? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam, you have 13 seconds starting now. 
What to put in application controller is an interesting question that we can discuss here at this conference as a number of developers who work in the Ruby programming language, naturally we end up writing application. Repetition of we. It was only two. Still, that's repetition. I, I, it was yeah. totally a repetition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've got to give you that. Yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah. I don't particularly wish to enrage the audience, so Kinsey's got the point. <laughs> Wow. And a second and a half remaining on this topic, starting now. What to put in the <laughs> Yes! Okay. I gotta get him. So, uh, Kinsey against the point for the end of that round. I think we are going to have to move into the final round of today's game. Kinsey, you're first to speak. Your topic Wait. is when not to commit. So this is Kinsey and Durham, when not to commit, starting now. When not to commit is a good question because I really never know when I should commit. That's when I ask my manager, hey, can you look at this before I commit? Because I really don't want to piss her off. No. Repetition of because. Shit, okay. <laughs> no. I didn't hear because before. Did anyone pick? No. no. <laughs> Did I say because twice? She said it at the beginning and yeah. yeah. Oh, mumbles of a sense. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I, I've ruled against Sam quite a lot in this, so <laughs> I'm going to give him that point. And 45 seconds on when not to commit, starting now. When not to commit is not just a question that we can apply to technology, but also to our dating lives. In most of the time, when not to commit... Deviation from good taste. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I, I think we enjoyed that enough to, to earn the point there, yes. so yeah. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to do this for 35 seconds, but I think that was pretty good. So. That was pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, so you have 35 seconds starting now. Tomorrow in my talk, I will be discussing when not to commit and when to commit. In that slideshow, I will be presenting a number of goats from my Twitter account that I hope you look at. One of the things I'll say about when not to commit is that you should have a great commit message, and if you don't, then you need to write one. Repetition of you? Mm -hmm. Ooh, You're really going to support someone besides, well, he is kind of. I'm <laughs> you need a point. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm willing to give that up. It's not Sam, so let's yeah, give it to him. Um, yeah, it's not it. Sam, okay, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to give that one to Aaron. Uh, you yeah. have 10 seconds remaining on when not to commit starting now. Commit or not to commit? <laughs> that is the question <laughs> that is on the screen in front of me now. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> I really want to beat Sam, but it's not looking like I'm going to. Um, a hesitation. <laughs> that yes, was a hesitation. Definitely. I have to give you that. Also, I really don't want to lose my first game, so yeah. <laughs> not looking lightly. <laughs> Okay, Kinsey, you have a third of a second on <laughs> when not to commit. Are you going to start? Are you going to start the timer? Oh, I can't. Starting now. When. <laughs> so I get a point. Okay, that was the end of today's show. Thank you very much for listening. I have been sharing my favorite thing in the world. So, <laughs> I just skipped the challenge. Um, <laughs> however, yeah, thank you very much for listening. For historical reasons, I must now thank EMS, who created this game almost 50 years ago, and Nicholas Parsons, who's been hosting it in the real world all that time. Now, <laughs> please, no. You should oh, totally give her another point, point yeah. cause Sam she said he would retire yes. if he beat her. And yes. so if you tie them, Sam <laughs> yes. is no longer retired One and we can point. continue mocking One him for point. years to come. <laughs> One more point. One Who thinks more I point. should 
One more <laughs> Force point. a draw Come here. On. Kinsey gets one more point. <laughs> Tie it. Tie it. Do it. It's Andrew, just come too on. dishonest. Tie I'm sorry. It. <laughs> Tie it. Andrew, we've lost enough popular votes in this country lately. Please, for the love of all that is holy, give her another point. <laughs> we need the point, Andrew. Oh, man. Okay. We need this. America needs this. <laughs> come on. For, do it for America. Do it, or a goat sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will accept that. I, but come on, Kinsey should really get another pick. That's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll just remember this. <laughs> I Fine. Really think yes! yes. Ah, <laughs> Sam. Yeah. Sam, you're still in. You have not beat Kinsey, so you're... So <laughs> I, I protest We're this action immensely. No, well, Double draw here. There are no hanging chads here, my friend. So thank you, Ruby Comp, for <laughs> joining in my little game. Please do join me once again, showing your pre appreciation even for today's panel. Aaron Patterson, <laughs> Tara Chernobyl Fuente, <laughs> Kinsey Andrum, and Sam Fippen. I've been Andrew Faraday. Thank you very much. I'll be around all week.